Well, very good morning. Welcome back to Bailiwick Fishing. Firstly, if you haven't liked and subscribed, click that button and uh, you'll be straight up to the new notifications. Okay, today's the day. We're going ormering or abalone foraging. Now, at the moment, I'll show you where we are. There we go. So basically this here is a island. There's only one house on it. You can walk across there on the low water and um, go and have a mooch in it. Now, there's a causeway just here. So we're waiting for the tide. It goes around there and it goes around there. It rips through here. So ha take note of how much water's there at the moment. And when we get back to, uh, when we finally get back to get over there, uh, you'll see that the tide drops quite drastically. So first things first, I'll go through the gear that I'm gonna be using. Cornish pasty to start the day off, obviously. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have, I've got a coffee just next to me. I've got the Bailiwick Fishing hoodie on. I'm going to have the foraging bag. We're going to have the really long lobster crook and hook, which was made by one of my friends, and he's also a subscriber. So thanks, Nick, if you're watching. We're going to have the Ormering hook. I'll run through that with you. Uh, we've got two gauges today. We've got a lobster gauge and also a uh, Ormer gauge or abalone gauge. Now, you have to measure all of the shellfish before you come up the beach. If you're caught undersized or anything like that, there is fines and you can end up in court. So it's a preserving the future. Also, we're gonna have obviously in the foraging bag, we're gonna have a first aid kit, which is a standard thing when I'm going foraging. We always keep a tide book. I know the tides today. <clears throat> I know the area. I was brought up around here, so I know what's going on, but it's always handy to have the tides should you need to tell anyone else or whatever else. Now today, <clears throat> I'm gonna have a pair of Team Vast waders on. So they're gonna do the business. They got the studs in the bottom. See how many people are walking in front of us this is a causeway and this is the only um way to this little island it's the tractor that uh, comes across you can stay over there for, for a fee and uh yeah this was all made years ago this so this is only uncovered at the the low tides as it speak as we speak really here we are guys so the causeway's run out so now we're uh, to our knees in water, getting across. <laughs> this looks like a half decent rock. Try and get you the best place. Oh, she's a big one. There we are, guys. That might be our first keeper. You can see it here. So all we do is get our hook, just like so, pop it just underneath the side of the ormer, give it a couple of bangs and pop it off. There's another one there. We'll take him out and uh, put the rock back nice and gentle. You don't want to crush any crabs or anything underneath. Pop that little one and we'll get measuring this one first. I reckon it's going to be our first keep up. Just get you angled a bit better. There we are guys, you can see that's our first keeper in, beautiful, first one down, first Orma. Look how many people just over the top here guys, I don't know if you can see them all, mad. This is the sort of pool you're looking for, just little pools like this, and what you want to do is look for the rocks that have got a bit of purple on them, so that one goes back. I'm using my hook here to uh, Flip the rock over. 
my baby one here guys it's just continual relentless there's loads of baby ones which is a really good sign for the future what do you see in here because i spy a lobster it's only a baby one oh, i forgot the tripod so that's a bit of a bad one so you'll see me in here he's right in the back of that hole so all i'm doing is getting the the hook right to the back behind him he's 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 tapping on the old uh There's a few little shrimps around there guys, you probably won't be able to pick them up on the camera. And I've seen him, he's just coming out and he was trying to snap away at them. That's obviously what he's trying to feed on. Where you gone mate? Oh, another one guys, I don't know about this one, we're going to measure him. Probably won't be able to see who is, but one, two, two baby ones. Turn it back. There we go, measure this one. Probably a bit small. Yeah, you can see that one's under, guys. So back he goes. Pop him under a rock. There we go. Two, three, on one rock. All small little babies, back of the Another one. Come on, we want that keeper. Another one there. You see how they move, guys? They're actually quite fast where they move. Yeah, that's good. I'll have a turn up a few more of these. This is the bigger one. Let it pop him off. I reckon he's going to be a bit under. Yep, a bit under, guys. Back he goes. With the other ones. Oh, straight down on the belly. I hope you're enjoying this guys this is a um, point of view warmering so exactly as if you were walking and doing it yourself for those of you that can't the two under there as well you can see guys there's a lot for the future there's another one there so for every rock so like, guys, sorry about the old lens check this check this the old spiny starfish they, uh, they, they will eat the ormers, they suck them, suck onto the uh, shell and, and uh, all sorts of other fish as well, they're, they're a nuisance really, but hey ho, back they go, their life. Maybe you can pick this up on the camera guys, look at that tide flooding out these pools here, absolutely ripping. The little causeway here, if you're fishing here, for bass this is where they'd be because they'd be hiding on the edge of the causeway looking for the bait fish that are getting swept out so a lot of these rocks guys have been turned obviously uh, there's a lot of people here today, so there's a lot going on. The, the tide, it's, it's from the southwest, so it's coming in here, so causing a ripple effect. So you've got a job to see underwater. There's a rock down here, for instance. I'm going to turn in. You've got a lot of job to see if there's anything on, the, on there. There's not on this occasion. Another keeper, no measure on that boy. We will anyway. Just for the camera. Look at that. He's absolutely well in. Doing really well. 
really, really well. So. Popping off another one here, guys. This is a beauty as well. I reckon it's going to be in. Well in. Getting a nice bag full now. Good. Turn back that rock. There we are. There we go. Just give you a few gloves off. How many people are here? There's all people over there. Here. Over here, so there's some keen people on our uh, winter's January afternoon. All right, guys. Well, I've done really well with the arm ring. Um, just come up well up the top of the beach now. Well, there's that in front of me, but there's still plenty of ormers around here. But there's a nice little pool here. I'm gonna have a mooch around. It doesn't look like it's had much turning, so. I'll just show you what I do. So I put the hook underneath the rock, turn the rock, have a look, gently turn it back. So I'm going to do that, carry on. There's a nice couple of rocks here, that one looks half decent. Let's give that a go. Oh, there's a baby one under there. Not a keeper though. This looks like a decent rock. Let's try this. Oh, beautiful. Look at that, guys. Look at that for a kit. That's awesome just shows they don't always have to be at the top of the beach. So I'll show you how I ping that off under the flesh of the, of the meat. A bit of a twist. And bingo. Look the size of that. Probably the biggest dormer today. There's another one there. You can turn that rock back. So it just shows guys you don't have to be right down the beach. You never know, there's another one there, look. Oh, look at that, guys. One, two, three, four. All on one rock, a small rock. That's the future, back they go. No. You can see all the barnacles on these guys. It's exactly the same barnacles as getting the bottom of your boat. It slows you down. Cool. Don't forget the oil, guys. Look what I see. Can you spot it? Tail of that lobster. I'm going to try and get him out. See the gold or the yellowy bit? That's his tail. So he's in tail first. So I'm going to try and get the hook in there. Hook him out. Hopefully you can see the action. Right, guys. I can see him down there. He's right at the back of the hole. And there's a conger in here as well. So I'm hoping it's much work. Shot this lobster forward. He's going to shoot out the front of the hole. Well, that's the plan anyway. Let's see if he crawls out the front. He knows I'm here. Right guys, so what we're going to try and do now is we've come to the end of the trip. Fortunately, I couldn't get those lobsters out. That one was a really tricky hole. Um, just. There was a conger in there as well, and I couldn't get it out the back, so never mind, next time. So what we're going to do now is we're going to measure up all of the almonds that we've got for today. So there's two there. Gloves. Now, we only wanted enough to catch and cook and some for the family, for the table. So, we've got three, four, five, six, seven, oh, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen. Right, let's measure them now. So all we do is actually, I've got a 
another gauge in here as well. Just get the other gauge out. Where's she gone? There we are. So this is the this is the gauge. So I'll just show you how I do that. There you go, that's one that's in. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Oh, they're well in these guys, they're nice almost. Six. Seven. Eight. This will be nine. So what I'm doing guys is from the edge of the shell there to the other side, which is well in. So that's nine. Ten. That's a massive one, that one. There's no measuring that. Eleven. Twelve, another nice one. Thirteen. And the last one with all the seaweed. 14 that's a nice one as well so there's there we go guys that's 14 almost today um all in size so i was pretty good with my uh, i mean i was measuring them as we go but uh yeah all good plenty of nice one uh some smaller ones for the uh plenty of smaller ones for the for the future i was i was actually here because there's actually a hole here but no lobster in it today so next time and we'll be back out tomorrow and uh we might have a couple more. There's a few of the uh, elderly family friends that I'd like to give some to. And also uh, a few friends that, that like them but are, not, are unable to come. So what we're going to do now is make our way back up to the beach. Everyone's starting to go back up. Tide's coming up. And the most important thing is to be safe. So get back in plenty of time. Let's go.